Hey, this is Rene. Welcome back to another video on this channel. And today we will talk about the backtesting history quality and how to get it up to up to 99%. So you probably all made a backtest in the MetaTrader 5 already using the backtesting tool or the strategy testing tool. And in the end, you get this overview over the most important facts about your test and you get a history quality here. Right now it is 20% for me and we can get this up using external data. And in this video, I want to show you how to do so. So where do you get this external data from? The easiest way is to use one of these two tools. The first one is Tick Story. The second one is, is the Tick Data Suite. Both of them should work. In this video, I will go with the Tick Data Suite because they also offer a free demo and I think it's the more advanced tool. So you can just go to eareview.net slash tick data suite like you see it here. Or of course, you can always Google it if you just search for tick data suite, uh, suite like this, and you will find it as um, the first result usually. If you click on this web page, um, you, will uh, you will find some explanations, uh, a quick start guide, but here we will just go for the free demo. So let me click on this try free demo. Here you just have to enter some uh, information. I would just type Rene, which is my name, and then my email address. And then you click on um, submit, and then they will uh, send you a trial license to your email address. So you should then, of course, open your email program or just go to your email inbox and you will find this email where they give you the 14 day free license key. So we will have to copy this later on. But first of all, let's click on download to download the actual Tick Data Suite tool. So we, I think this should be the newest version. So we will download this. And here it says it's compatible with the MT4 build 940 to um, 1395. Um, this is because they have an automated uh, integration for the MetaTrader 4. They do not have this for the MetaTrader 5. This is important, but we can still use this data in the MetaTrader 5. We just need a little workaround because we will have to create or build the data in the Tick Data Suite, then we have to export it, and then we have to import it in the MetaTrader 5. But in this video, I will, um, yeah teach you how to do this step by step and it's actually really easy. So let me wait until this download is finished and then we can go ahead and install the program. Okay, download is done. So of course we will just install the program. Let me just click on the setup file here. Um, yeah, I mean, of course we want to install it. It will launch the, the installation guide here. Let me do this in English and then click on next. We will have to agree the agreement. Uh, yeah, agree to the agreement. And here is um, the license key already requested. So let me go back to my email. Let me get the license key here. So just take the license key from the email. Whoops, the whole line, of course. Right click, copy, go back to the installation tool, and paste it here. And then we can click on next. And it should verify the um, the uh, the key, the license key. Then you can choose your installation folder. I mean, this is just a normal installation setup. Not a lot to explain here. You probably all installed uh, some program before. So now um, this will install the Tick Data Suite and then we will go on. Okay, it's already done. So we can click on finish and it says that the tick data is stored at this specific location and then there is the path to this location. So maybe we can open it already. Let's go to C user BM trading app data local. So this is the folder where we will find the tick data once we export it is. It, so it is important that you have access to this folder and that you know where to find it. So let me minimize this explorer here. And yeah, we can now just go to Tick Data Manager. Yeah, we will just use this path that was suggested here. We could change it, but I will go with this standard path. And now it will automatically launch the Tick 
Data Manager. Okay, so in this um, Tick Data Manager, we can now choose the data source in the, in the upper left corner here. I will go with Dukas Copy. It is, I think, the most used data source. Um, you can also go with any of the other if you prefer any of the other. <laughs> and then you can find all the currency pairs and symbols here that you can export using the TIG data manager. So first of all, before we export the data, we will have to get the data from the Dukas Copy server. So to do this, we can just um, click on the operations here. We can select the time period that we want to, um, to get. Um, if I just click on all data, it will download all the data starting from 20, uh, 23. Uh, I think I will go with um, 2010 maybe. Uh, should be quite enough data for this purpose. And then I can just click on, um, yeah, can just click on start download and you can see it will automatically download all the data and you can always see the current state of the download. And yeah, this will take a while. So I will just fast forward until the data is downloaded. Okay, so the test is nearly finished. We can see these are the last days um, to be downloaded and now we can see the finished um, download here. So also we can see that um, lower left corner, it says the total size on disk is now 700 megabyte. So this is um, because we downloaded 5,050 days here already for here US dollar, which um, and the data is stored on your on a local PC or on the hard drive of your PC, of course. So what we can do now, let's go back to this folder that um, we uh, opened before. And this is where the Tick Data Suite is storing the data. So if we click on this Tick Data Suite here, we can see there is this Dukas copy folder. And if we click on it, we will now find the subfolder for Euros Dollar. And here is all the data stored that um, we just downloaded. So you can open it and you will find the data for pretty much every single day. This is, of course, a format. This is a BFC file. I don't really know what this is. So this is a format that we can, cannot use and cannot import in the MediaTrader 5. This is why we'll have to do one more step. So now that we downloaded the data, we can click on the operations here again for Euro US dollar. And now we have export ticks and export bars. And this was not here before. This is important. This is only here now because we downloaded it. So what we can do now is we can go to export ticks. And here you will see we will have the um, time period from the 1st January of 2010, uh, 2010 until 2023, like the current day, end of uh, October for me right now. So what I can do here is, um, of course, the format should be MetaTrader 5 now because we want this um, yeah, to be available for the MetaTrader 5 then. Um, and then we will have to provide the GMT offset. This should be the same as for your broker. So for IC markets, this is the broker that I will use. It is or it should be GMT offset plus two. And the destination uh, should be US because the IC market servers, uh, I think, are based on the US time. And that's pretty much it, I think. So once we made these settings, we can now click on start export and it should export the data in a tick data format wherever we want it to be. So here we can actually choose another um, directory where we want to place the data. And um, you can see here, I will place this on the desktop because it makes it easy for me to include them or to import them afterwards to my MetaTrader 5 terminal. So you can store it um, at any location, but I think the desktop of your PC is always a good idea. You can also change the, the name of the file that will be created, but I will keep it as it is. And here you can see it is a comma separated values file, a CSV file. So if I click on save, it will create this specific uh, CSV file on the desktop. And there we will find it once this export is done. But here you can see it's still exporting the data. And this will take a while because now the program is going through all these files here in this Dukas copy folder for the Euros dollar and will take the ticks from it and will paste it in the CSV file. And once this is done, we should find the finished CSV file or the, the, the created CSV file on the desktop. Let's go there already. 
and then we will be able to use it. So right now there is no file, but it should be there once everything is done. So maybe we can go ahead with the next steps already. So in the MetaTrader 5, we will have to include these um, ticks as a next step. So what we have to do in order to create this custom symbol is we can go to the market watch. If you do not see it, click on view market watch. And in the market watch, just right click anywhere and click on symbols. And here we will find all the symbols, also the euro US dollar. We could import the data to this euro US dollar symbol, but it does not make sense. And this is not what we want, because if we override the data in our standard euro US dollar symbol, it will not really work because this euro US dollar symbol is the one that is used by your broker. And if you're connected to your broker, the broker will override the data that we imported for this symbol. So what we want to do is we want to create a custom symbol. So in the symbols um, menu here, where we go to the left side, you can just go to custom and highlight this and you can uh, click on create custom symbol. And here, before we do anything else, we will go down here to copy from, and then we want to choose Euro US dollar in this case, or whatever symbol or CFD or whatever you want to create a custom symbol for. So if I double click on Euro US dollar, you can see all of this information is now automatically filled. And this is really important because now what I can do here is I can go to, um, to, to symbol and I can say, here, I want to change the name to Eurios dollar underscore at TDS or whatever you like. This is tick data suite for me. So yeah, this should also update the path down here. So you can see um, that, yeah, now the, the path is updated. And if I now click on OK, it should create the custom symbol down here. So we will have, uh, we will now have it in this path. So custom Forex majors, and here we will find Euro US dollar TDS. And um, yeah, I can now click this or double click this. And now we can see it will automatically be, uh, it will be visible here in the market watch also. And I could also go ahead and right click and create a new chart. The problem is it will not create a new chart because there's no data in this custom symbol. So this is the point where we want to include the data from the tick data suite. But since the download is not finished yet, I will just wait until the download is finished and then we will go on with the next steps. Okay, so here the uh, CSV export is finished. So let's have a look at the desktop here. And yes, we do find this file here. So this is the file that was created. And if we have a look at this file now, um, this one, wait, where do I see the information? This one should be a lot bigger. Yeah, you can see this file is 11 gigabytes big. So this is the file that contains the ticks that we now want to um, include in our MetaTrader 5 terminal. So let's jump right back into the MetaTrader 5. And here we now go to the market watch again, symbols, and here we see our beautiful Euro US dollar TDS um, symbol. And what we do now is we go to ticks up here and make sure that Euros dollar TDS is still connect uh, or selected here. And what we can do now is we can click on import ticks down here. And once we did this, we can browse for the file. So let's jump to the desktop. And here we should find the Euros dollar uh, underscore GMT plus whatever a file. And we double click this. And here you can see now it shows us all the ticks pretty much, or at least a preview for these ticks. And yeah, so I think we don't have to add anything else now and just click on OK. So now, whoa, and in the background, we can already see the chart going wild because now all the ticks are included to our MetaTrader 5. And of course, the Euro US dollar underscore TDS symbol now has data so we can show it in the chart but let's have a look at this later on let's first wait until all of the ticks are imported whenever you work with ticks it's totally normal that it takes a while to import or export them because as you can see here we are working with millions of ticks and this will take a while but um, yeah once you did this 
export and import action, you can always use this symbol later on for all your testing. So this is something you don't have to do really often. And uh, yeah, from this point on now, I only have to update this like once or twice a month um, as often as I like to update it to include the latest ticks. So yeah, you can find your own routine for this. Maybe you want to do it uh, every month. Uh, at the beginning of a new month, you will import the last month. So the ticks are updated or maybe you want to do it twice a month. It's totally up to you. But here I will just wait until the tick import is finished and then let's have a look, have a look at how we can use this for testing. Okay, so the download is almost finished. So the next thing we can do is first have a look at the chart and then we will have a look at some backtesting action. So 99.5, let's wait the last few seconds. Okay, there it is. So you can see now we have all the ticks. Um, you cannot show all the ticks at the same time, but this is completely normal because you can, um, yeah, it's just not possible to show all of them. But if we now have a look at... Um, Oh, I mean, we can close this now. If we have a look at the chart now, we can see there is data. And it's actually quite a lot of data because we should have all the data starting from 20, um, 2010 now because this is the starting point that I chose. And we have one minute data, one hour data, whatever we like. It's all generated from this tick, uh, from this tick file now. And um, of course, this will not this is not updated automatically from the server of your broker because this is a custom symbol so you do not do not have to worry the only person who can update this um, is you so you can include more data if you like and um, yeah you can uh, do this whenever you want so what i want to do now is i want to have a look at um, let's say the euro US dollar uh, one hour chart for the last day because i want to compare the data here to make sure that I didn't mess up the, um, the, the, the time shift or anything. So what I want to do is I want to just compare the candles. So maybe let's have a look at, um, yeah, let's say this long candle, it's the 30th um, October 2023, 12 o'clock. And now I go to the real Euro US dollar chart that has the data uh, from the uh, from from the server, so um, let's go to the thirtieth um, of October, twelve o'clock. So it should be this candle, hopefully. And yeah, if we compare this, this looks really similar. So we can also go ahead, open the data window, and check if um, the high and low and open and close is really similar. So maybe wait, let me close the other. Windows here, so like this, then rearrange it. And now let's check this. So let me get the crosshair here and here. So here, 12 o'clock, we can see the high is at 1.058678. Um, 1 and here it is 1.058. 0.05861 so this is really similar and the low is uh, 5598 in the end and here we have 5597 so this is really similar but, but this is good i mean of course it's not exactly the same same data because this data um, in the custom symbol is from the ducas copy uh, signal uh, or data provider i think it's also a broker and this is ic markets but still it doesn't really matter if there's a one point difference i think and um, we could also use um, another data provider here. Maybe I will do the same thing for Alpari uh, ECN1 later on. I read somewhere that this is really comparable to other ECN brokers like um, IC Markets. But yeah, for now, I just use the Ducas copy for this tutorial and I just want to explain the process. So what we can do now, since we... Um, since we made sure that the times are the same, so the same candle at... Um, 12 o'clock here is the same candle as the one 12 o'clock here in the custom symbol. This is important. This is really important because otherwise you cannot really compare the test to the um, to the to the actual charts. 
uh, especially if you have a strategy that works with, with time. But now what I can do here is I can go to uh, visualize. I can choose any strategy, for example, this MACD strategy. And now I can go to symbol and we will find custom here, Forex, and then majors. And here, whoops, Allah. Here we should find Euros dollar underscore TDS. And this is the symbol that we want to use for our backtesting. And now I can yeah, just choose the H1 chart, maybe test this period from 2020 up to 2023 with this MACD strategy and the delay. Yeah, you can choose whatever delay you like. And this is not really like super important, but what is, is uh, what is super important I mean, it's still important to choose a realistic delay. I would just suggest the, the server ping or a random delay. Um, one of these options is the best, I think. And then I want to use every tick based on real ticks. And then um, this is also important. We have to click on this button to um, be able to add the trading commission and everything. And what we have here is we have the uh, use custom settings. And this is what we want to do. And here... We want to say that we want to add the realistic commission, right? And here it is three um, US dollar per per deal. So three US dollar for one lot if we buy it and three for one lot if we sell it. And this is um, from uh, zero lots to yeah whatever maximum number of lots. So just a big number here because uh, it's always applied. And... Um, daily volume and this is instant by deal volume and for in and out deals so every single deal for my server uh, for my broker will cost me three dollars in commission this might be different for your broker but yeah you will just have to check what it is for your broker and also this is per volume for my broker so these are the settings. I think the, they should be correct for IC markets. Again, for your broker, it could be a little bit different. So I can now click on OK. So it should be saved here. And yeah, if I have everything up and going, I can now click on Start with my expert advisor and test it here for this, um, uh, for, 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 for the selected period starting in 2020 up to... Um, 2023 and it is really important that you um, suggest or that you select the custom symbol this is um, really important because otherwise it will not really work of course and yeah here this will take a while until it's loaded it usually takes longer to load if you use the every tick based on real tick method but yeah you can see now it um, it is loaded and now i can use this euros dollar underscore tds custom symbol to make backtest and you can see here trading is just fine we copied all the uh, specifications from the euro dollar symbol also if we go here and go to the history we should see the commission is applied um yeah here i'm always trading with one lot but it should also be calculated if we're trading with more or less lots and yeah you can see i can just fast forward this and let's have a look at the graph so you can see this is um, going just fine. And let me just wait until this test is finished and then we will have a look at the key figures and uh, especially the history quality because this is all this video is about, right? So, okay, looks like the test is finished. So the moment of truth, if we go to back test, you can see the history quality is now indeed at 100%. Again, or still, this does not mean that these are the exact trade that you would have seen in a live trading account. This is just based on the history quality. There are some algorithms in the MetaTrader 5 to detect if a history quality is good or bad. And it's mainly based on the amount of ticks and the amount of missed ticks and everything. It does not mean that these tests are 100% accurate. It's just based on the algorithm that the MetaTrader 5 uses to identify the quality of the history. But if you see a backtest like this, it can still be manipulated. But here in this video, or if you do the steps that I did in this video, you can know that the data is from Dukas Copy. These are tick data. So this test is of high quality. And yeah, this is how you can achieve a 99 or even 100% a history quality testing any symbol that is available in the tick data suite 
uh, symbols pool. So um, as a last thing, we can of course still use our normal uh, forex symbols here. So if we have a look at euro dollar, and um, yeah, if we just test this for the same period, I won't use the the visual mode, but we can also test this for the same period. And we will, of course, see that there is a difference in the history quality. And this will be the last test that I did in this video. I hope I was able to show you how you can use the, um, the tick data suite to get historical tick data from a lot of different sources to make high quality back tests. And yeah, if you're interested in uh, doing so, you can, of, of course, use this um, um, uh, tutorial as a step-by-step -step tutorial to do the same steps and get the same results in your tester. This is especially important if you are testing um, uh, Skyping strategies, but yeah, also for this strategy, it actually makes quite a huge difference, um, which is surprising to me, but yeah, it's good to know that there is such a big difference and I will do as a following some more uh, comparisons of these tick data from uh, tick data suite with some strategies that I used before in a live trading account to see if we get really close to the live trading results using this actual tick data. So I hope you like this tutorial. Uh, let me know in the comment section below if you have any more questions and if you were able to um, yeah, get something out of this tutorial, please leave a like. Also, make sure to subscribe to this channel because I will do more backtesting videos and stuff using the Tick Data Suite data now. From now on, also, you will find a lot of programming content. This is what this channel is based on mainly. So I want to make you able, um, or I want to enable you to write your own trading strategies for the MetaTrader 5, especially so you are no, no longer dependent on some um, expert advisor from the internet or some external programmer. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great time and good trades. Bye.